Hi guys, Miss Coleshaw here, and today we're going to take you through a circuit which is going to involve our overall body. So we're trying to hit every muscle group in our body in terms of our chest, back, shoulders, arms, legs. Okay. So start off with okay. Now before we start as well, you can do this sort of circuit any way you want. So if you do in the, if you're in school or at home, all you need is some room to work into. If it's a playground, sports hall. Okay, if it's outside your house in the garden like we are here today, you can do it any way you want. Okay, only equipment that you need is cones. Okay, there's no in terms of barbells, anything like that, dumbbells. Okay, it's all body weight exercises. Okay, so for a warm up, <clears throat> as I'm stood here, we're in our own little space. Okay, so we're just going to do, for example, we could do something very simple like run on spot. Okay, during the whole course of this circuit itself, okay, it's going to be 30 seconds intense workout with a 15 minute, uh, sorry, a 15 second gap in between each one, okay? So for instance, our warm up could be a nice and simple on your spot, you could just do a little toe taps, just jogging on the spot, you can make it harder, progression, get the knees higher a little bit, and make it even harder, fast sprinting where you're encouraging to use the arms as well, okay? So overall imp importance to this part is just making sure you get that heart rate to be going faster, okay? So that body circulates around our body, and targeting those big areas where our big muscles are in terms of trying to do all these exercises that we're doing today. So, when we're going on to the main circuit over here, okay, so very quickly, I'll just describe to you how it's going to work, okay, and then I'm going to do it myself, I'm going to show you, okay, so each area is designed to target one muscle group, okay, so this area here. We're going to be looking at your overall cardiovascular, so to do your heart. So we're looking at so far doing your star jumps for this for this one, okay. And then moving on to this one, we're going to look at your chest, okay. So this area here, doing some press ups, okay. This one, we're going to do some shoulder, so we're going to do some shoulder taps, okay. This one, we're going to do our back, so we're going to do some, so we're going to do some re reaches. On to this one, it's going to be our core, so we're going to do some sit ups. I might do look at doing the plank as well. And this one, it's going to be all our lower body, looking at our legs, okay? So I'm going to take you through all of it, okay? In between, the, the gaps in between, so the 15 seconds rest, I'll explain how to do the actual exercise itself, okay? Looking at the overall technique, okay, to make sure you're doing it right, and to get the progression right as well. Or, also, adaptations as well, if it makes it harder, try and go a bit easier on it, okay? And look at different adaptations that way, okay? It's 30 seconds workout. Make sure as you do your workout, make sure, make sure you're breathing in and out as well, through your nose and your mouth as well, okay? So, once we do it, I'm going to stop, so 15 seconds rest, okay? On my clock, I've got a 1, 2, 3, music will start playing. When it stops, I introduce the new workout, okay? But overall, it's look at my technique, okay? And look what I'm doing correctly, so make sure we do it, those, those guys at home doing it right, so. Side jump. So make sure our arms go nice and high, legs to the side. Make sure a nice posture, keep nice and straight. Make sure it's all about your breathing, so you breathe out your nose. Just go a bit faster. Make sure you jump off your knees, you land on your heels. Make sure it's a full 30 seconds. Three. Two, one, break. Okay, so you stay so fit. Well, you know how I stay so fit. Because I'm putting in work. Okay, so this one, you want to be Down there. Make sure nice straight back, face it from the floor, out both ends to the side. Three, two, one, break. Okay, we're going to our next one. Okay, this one, we're going to do our shoulders, we do some shoulder taps. So, same as the best up, hand and shoulders apart, and our hands go to our shoulders so back. Give you the best. Now, three, two, one, right, go. Right, make sure you tap in, tap into your shoulder, keep your back nice and straight, nice and firm posture. So 
So see here, we've got all the pressure out to the hand which is sitting on the floor. Okay, this one, we're going to do a jump squat. So hands stay there. Pretty clear. Let's see how far you can go with this one. Nice straight back. Oh. Make sure you swing those arms. Let's get an elevation to spring off the floor. Make sure you're warming on our heels. Tip toes guide the push. That's sort of back push. Okay, what happens to me? Okay, so you can see that's out of breath, so that is literally targeted every single muscle in my body. So from your arms, to your chest, to your core, to your legs. Okay, like I mentioned before, you can do it anywhere you want. So playground, front room if you wanted to. Okay, so as the end, as the end of the day, you do your stretches. So I like to do stretches at the start, so nice simple ones. Feet deltoid, cross your body, yeah. Before you look at your waist in, so let go, go out, stretch it down, cast onto your glutes and your bottom as well, stretch the legs around, put all the pressure forwards, you can feel it to your hamstrings and your quads. I have the last one, because you learn a lot more soles in terms of your big jumps at the end, soles together, elbows. Squeeze down. This is for your adductors and your adductors to the sides. 